So what's up everybody? So this is a new vantage point. Instead of me holding the phone, it's actually my wife helping out. She said that I gotta change it up. So we're gonna test out the walkthrough of that unit, the end unit right over there, which is again, elevated at Holiday Hills by Vandell Homes here in beautiful Holiday, uh, I was gonna say Hollywood, Holiday, Utah. Beautiful sunny day. We were just doing a hike in downtown Salt Lake City. So if you wanna go out over or across the grass if you want. <laughs> As you've seen my last few videos, I already spotlighted that one, which was residence A, B1, B2, and this one is B3. It is also an end unit, so it will look a little bit different than B1 and B2. Price point is going to be about the same, a little north of a million dollars. So the difference is this one does have a little porch area, so if you want to pan right there and you see, you can have your lounge chairs or just some sitting uh, options out here. Uh, as you saw in the previous two videos, come here. Uh, do you remember those last two videos? This right here is a flight space that can be used as an office or it can be used as a music room or whatever. This one's slightly bigger. If you want to watch that video before. This one's bigger and can be used as a bedroom because you got windows and you want where you have closet space, which is actually pretty big. Wow. Pretty deceiving once that you actually is open big. it. Um, so it's up to you, whether you want to use it as a bedroom or you want to use it as an office. I, for my own taste and needs, I'd say an office would be the best because of the natural light coming in. Um, you do, if you want to look at this window, you can see Big Conwood uh, Creek. So I, I don't think these windows open, but you could get the, I don't know, different feeling when there's a water feature nearby. Uh, as I mentioned in the previous videos, this right here is an option barn style doors or if you decide to go with French doors. I like French doors better than barn doors even though barn doors are pretty cool. This one will also offer the option to do an elevator. So if you do not want to do the stairs and deal with stairs every single day, I myself like leg days so I don't think I'd get tired of stairs. You could fork up the forty or fifty thousand dollars to add or maybe I'm doing I'm, you know what look at the video description and confirm that I'm going to confirm with the sales consultant after this because I keep saying 50,000, but it actually might be more to add an elevator. But so you got the elevator, you have an unfinished basement in this one. Uh, if I remember correctly, it's not a lot of space, but enough to do maybe like a I don't know, you could do like a TV room down here. So I don't think you would do a bedroom unless you want to, but. I think enough space for a TV room or a fitness room. That could be another option. A fitness room right here. Or just storage. Storage down there. And then, like I said, elevator right there. Actually, they have the shaft mm. ready for an elevator. Um, so it's up to you if you want to have an elevator or a bedroom down here. And then check out the cats. <laughs> As I make my way up the stairs. said entrance you have your bedroom slash uh, office you have your half bath right over here and again what you're seeing is very basic you know there's no there's no uh, Nothing staging so you're gonna have to use imagination then you have access to your two-car garage I like the addition of the window so you get some natural light now there is a cutout so you can have like a workbench That's nice. and then Here's the part of the walkthrough where we work out our legs to make our way to the second floor. This one's gonna have four levels. Three levels with the fourth one being the, um... okay, this one I do like better than the last two walkthroughs. I don't know, maybe it's because it's not staged, but it does feel bigger. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Mm -hmm. So the last one was B, B2. It did feel a little bit small because it's a, a middle unit. You're not sure you another wall. This one, it's an end unit, does feel a lot bigger, so. And because there's more light over here. Right, so you do get a lot more windows, as you can see. I can see now you have two porches, back porches. You have one facing west, Highland Drive. And look at that view of the river. So with this one, you get a view at least some outdoor options on the west side. 
Uh, like I said, that's Highland Drive. Just literally three minutes down the road, we have Cafe Madrid, which is an awesome restaurant. And then here to the right, this is done. I don't know how long, how many years it's gonna take, but the vision of Holiday is to make this into the Holiday Hills, which is, you know, we're gonna have, they're, they're, it's rumored, I guess it hasn't confirmed, but it's rumored that it's gonna be the second location of Lifetime Fitness, the first location being South Jordan. Uh, as you can see, they're doing some penthouse uh, options up above, so, you know, expensive luxury condos, restaurants, green space, parks, and everything that you could think a uh, affluent area in the valley is going to set up. So again, Holiday, Utah, we're on the east. If you're not local, you don't know the, the setup of Holiday, we're on the east side or east bench. Uh, we'll get a view of the mountainside in a little bit. Uh, Holiday, Sandy, Conwood Heights, Draper, those four cities on the southeast end of the valley are very affluent and people always want to live here. And my wife included, used to live in Conwood Heights. And as she always says, it was uh, her old stomping ground. <laughs> so TV, can have an L-shaped sofa right here. We have nine foot, well is that nine or is that 10? I think that kind of feels like 10. It looks like 10. So 10 foot ceilings, I think. You have your dining area right here. Space with four seats right here. Your large island with a sink. Now this, because it's an end unit, you do have your second porch, the bathroom. And this one is facing south, and you get a view of the uh, Big Cottonwood Creek. Which again, is not a huge creek, but again, the, the sound, I think more, the, what is it, the ASMR stuff that people like, the, the sound. It's very therapeutic right. to be near a body of water. Like I said, East Bench, you have... Uh, Mount Olympus right there, which is an awesome hike. I've done that hike before. About a 15 minute drive to the foot of the mountain so you can access awesome hiking. About 20, 25 minutes to, to reach ski resorts. If you're a skier, if you're a snowboarder, a mountain biker. Again, you're located in a really, really nice area, not only economically, but also for outdoors and outdoor activities. So, uh, with this one, they went with darker uh, options. So these are going to be specked out, so it's not like... And again, depending on how, because like I said, they're starting in July up to the beginning of the year. If you move in and you know, contact me if you have any questions, you can actually have the counters or cabinets and all these other options added. But, uh, here's the cutout for the fridge. Again, because of, for now, this is not going to be an, an, uh, I mean, an obstructed view, but eventually when they build out that in the beginning of the year, you will have. Here's what I noticed. If you watch my last two videos, I talk about the addition of a glass door for the walk-in pantry. This is the basic option they give you that come with the actual home. It's just a normal door. It does make a difference having it glass. So if you actually pay, I don't know, don't quote me on the price of the option, mm -hmm. but if you go with the glass one, I think it's cool. I think visually it's cool. It Being does. able to see inside, mm -hmm. I think it's cool. Then you have your half bath right there. I believe this is just a cold closet. Yep, cold closet to have your guests put their fine furs. Furs. Mm -hmm. So again, this is very basic, but it's still going to run you about a million plus. And it's because of location, 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 location. So I said, the elevator would be right there, or you can work out those calves and those hamstrings as you make your way out to your bedroom section. Here would be the entrance of the elevator from the third floor. And this is your master bedroom. So nine foot ceilings, master bath, walk-in closet. Now, Something I've always said in my videos, there's certain places where I have to have windows. One of them is laundry rooms, toilet rooms, and walk-in closets. If you have a window in a, win a walk-in closet, I think it makes, you know, folding your laundry a lot better. It's like, why, why do closets need to be dark? You can I showcase think. your clothing and your right? shoes. So, like I said, nine foot ceilings and you have access to your walk-in uh, master bath goes from the carpet to the tile floor, double sinks, his and hers, and your your shower. This is a huge toilet closet. 
That is a shelving. Shelf, I'm really big, you can have, well, shelving, storage. This is a very big, actually, yes. By far the biggest toilet room. Mm. I guess you could have maybe something like here, a TV if you wanted a to. A TV. <laughs> okay, so, master bath, master bedroom. I think it's big because there's no um, linen closet. Right, mechanical. Now this is the first one I see with a barn door, but this is your washer and dryer facing the I shower. like the barn door option, that's nice. Right, that's kind of interesting. I don't think myself I would want to pay extra to have a barn door to close you know, on your laundry, but again, that, that is an option apparently. And then you have the full bath for these two bedrooms to share. That's nice. Now something I'm not noticing, that I'm now noticing, is that this one doesn't have a rooftop deck. Mm -hmm. So apparently, I just found out, B3, resident B3, doesn't have access to the a rooftop deck. So that's interesting. So as a summary, the first one, if you're watching this as a series, you have residence A, which was the really, really cool one, the big room. That one, that had a rooftop deck. Um, you just come in here because it's a lot lighter. Uh, then B1 and B2 had, you know, the third floor and then the rooftop deck, you know, for hot tubs or whatever. And then this one is B3, so it apparently it doesn't have access to my wife is telling me to smile. I don't smile. I'm just kidding. But uh, still, no rooftop deck, B3 but it's still gonna run you over a million dollars. So it is an end unit, so you do have more space, as you saw downstairs, especially in the main room. Have a large window, which you're gonna get some good you know, lighting when it comes, it's about what time is it right now? It's about three or four right now, so this is the afternoon sun you'll get. Uh, but in summary, in conclusion, uh, if you're interested in Vandell Homes, Holiday Hills, Holiday Utah, Salt Lake, or Utah's real estate market, do let me know because these things are flying off the shelf. Yes, they're pricey, but because of that, a lot of these are flying off the shelf. Right now, the only model home that I won't be able to have a video, unfortunately, is the biggest model home, and that's the one that runs for 1.3 million. But anyway, this one, 1 million to 1.1, you can plan. Now, they do offer incentives. If you decide to go over with a preferred lender, they will give you, I believe it's 10 or 15,000. Look at the video description. 10 or 15,000 dollars that can go towards closing costs, buying down the rate, or just upgrades and options. So if you have any questions, do read the video description, text me, email me, drop a comment on this video. Do share if you know of anybody that is looking for something like this. If you yourself are relocating to Utah or you're a local wanting to make one of these your homes, do let me know. But other than that, peace out.